Last year, I got sick of receiving just my paycheck, so I started to look into passive income sources. Hi guys, 10 sources of passive income, the bulk of which are online. Number one, bonds. Now, people have ignored bonds because they're chasing other sources, but listen, bonds are some good source of passive income, especially bonds from emerging economies, but I wouldn't get too technical on that point. The point is this, guys, you could actually earn passive income from bonds or bond ETFs if you research well and you get the right set of instruments. That's number one. Number two, membership sites or subscriptions. Now, a lot of people pass on on this kind of opportunity. I see a lot of YouTubers that could have generated like an emailing list, a robust emailing list, but they don't do it. And so they're leaving money on the table because you could actually create a subscription service where you teach people things or where you write things or where you drop knowledge and people pay to have access to that on a monthly basis. I have friends that are making tons of money through that source by just discussing stock market matters. So think about something you're, you're very good at that you think people would like to listen to, create some sort of a platform where you have people sign up on a monthly basis and pay subscriptions, okay? And there are very many tools to help you with all of that. Discord, Patreon, very many tools. So that's number two. Number three, ebook. So you could create an ebook, which is an electronic book. I mean, think about it. You put on the effort in front, you front load your effort, you write the book, you decide the chapters, you teach what you wanna teach, and then you host it somewhere on whatever site you choose, and that book hopefully brings you income for life. So you see, if your audience likes the book, if your end user likes the book, you keep getting repeat purchases over a long period of time. Now that's a classical source of passive income where you put in the work upfront and then you go to sleep and you keep receiving those, you know, inflows coming into your bank account. So that's number three eBooks that you should consider right now. Number four is quite interesting, public speaking. Now you could be a very good public speaker and you're wasting your talent. You could be a very good vocal person. You have good vocals for voiceovers and you're wasting your talent. That's one source of income that you can very well explore. There are websites, I'll leave a link in the description for you to check out where you can actually, you know, put voice notes. I saw one of those sites where um, one of those people provided her voice note, 10 second voice notes for about $10 or thereabouts. So there's quite some money in it if your voice is liked. I mean, you should have a nice voice anyways. And if people think that they want to buy your voice over notes for their own projects. The fifth will be user generated content. That's UGC. How does this work? Now, let me explain. Advertisers these days are turning to users, TikTok users, Instagram users, YouTube users to create ad content for them because they've seen that this is cheaper number one, and number two, more people prefer to watch this content rather than the standard studio type advertising content. So with a user generated content, you could record yourself with your favorite, you know, cream, hair, whatever it is, and sell to some of these companies. Now, linking you to the companies might be tough, but if you have the idea on how it works, then you could very well be on your way to making some extra passive income. I know someone who tried it out. She did like a 10 second video and luckily she got a brand to, you know, tell her to bring her video and they use it on TikTok and you know, she's making some money. So you never know. That's why it's passive income. You keep trying out different sources. So that's number five. Six will be social media assistant. Guys, I can't tell you enough. The world needs social media assistance. I mean, companies know that they should be present on social media, but they don't have the time, they don't have the resources, they don't have the skill set. So they tend to turn out to look for people that are already doing these things to simply manage their social media presence. Okay. Now you're gonna be very, you're gonna have to be very good at your game. Uh, they're gonna really like you. They're gonna check your source of followership and all that stuff. So I mean, it's really for those that know what they're doing on social media. They know how to manage manage social media presence, how you interact with your commenters, how you do your things on social media, your visibility status and all that. Social media managers are really in high demand right now. Next would be sales. You could sell your products on Etsy. I mean, there are different kinds of products you can sell on Etsy. And the fun part is that you could decide what you want to sell. Just put it there. Okay. And you never know who's going to buy it. I mean, it could be anything 
I, for example, you could be a collector of watches, you could be a collector of things, you could be a collector of mugs, and when you're done collecting, you could just decide that you want to sell some of those things. And guess what? I found out that there's always a buyer for what you want to sell if you get to the right audience. So what you want to do is you host it on Etsy, then you promote it. For example, if you have a YouTube channel, or whatever source you have, you promote that store, and who knows, you could just get your way into having people buy those things in large quantities all right so that's the next one selling products on etsy next will be coaching programs okay so now this is different from online coaching because online coaching you practically are anonymous maybe to the whole world but for this one you're having one-on-one -on -one sessions with people and this is where it gets a little more lucrative the numbers are less but the billing is higher so you tend to make more money on direct coaching programs now people try to sell things to the masses but they fail to make money from one-on-one -on -one contacts with people and i do think it's a viable source that people have not explored online so for example you're good at something you want to get two or three people, 10 people that you sell it to, and those ones will now market you to the larger audience. It's just a way of diversifying your offering when it comes to selling yourself or your product. Number nine will be editing for YouTube videos. Gosh, I seriously need a video editor on my videos. Maybe not right now, but at some point I definitely will. So being an editor, if you have editing skills, that's one niche that's going viral now. I mean, YouTube videos are churning out every day and content creators are getting overwhelmed, burning out, they're gonna be needing more and more video editors. So if that's a skill set you have, then you might be on your way to making some serious passive income. If you can find the right YouTubers to work with, right creators to work with, and you're very skilled at what you do. Finally, the last source will be SEO managers, search engine optimization managers. They are the ones that understand how to make your video rank on top, your content rank on top, your blog rank on top when they're being searched. For example, you get on Google and you search best stocks to invest in or best products on Amazon, you'll tend to see results pop up to the top. SEO helps you position those results to the top and there are people that specialize in those kind of things. So being an SEO expert at this time is also a good source of passive income. It's a skill set that can be learned. You can definitely learn it and make some money off it over the long term if you're patient and if you get the right customers. Now that's 10 additional sources in addition to the 10 I mentioned in this video, which I think you should check out. Thanks a lot for watching. Nick right here. I'm a passive income coach. I'd like to talk about money and things like that. If you like things like that, like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers. People try to sell things to the masses, but they fail to make money from one-on-one -on -one compact one-on-one -on -one contacts with people. If you can find the right YouTubers to work with, right creators to work with, and you're very skilled at what you do. Finally, the last source will be SEO managers. For example, finally, the last source will be SEO managers, search engine optimization managers.